Hey guys, I hope all of you are studying uh, very seriously for your examination because I don't think there is a reason for you not to study during this time. And for people who don't know me, I'm Darshan and I'm currently pursuing my computer science engineering at JSSSTU Mysore. And in KCET 2022, I had secured a rank of 2200 something. And since then, I've been guiding students who are giving this examination on how to how do they approach this particular examination. And especially when there is very less time left, things which they can do to maximize their score in it. And in that process, this is one uh, such video in which I'll be talking about the subject wise strategies which you can include right now in the very less time which is available. And I know you can't do wonders in this uh, last last two to three days but still you can do certain small things or minute things which will certainly help you uh, increase your score or maximize your score in case ETA examination guys and with this little information let's uh, directly start this video because we have very less time now first things first let's talk about physics now L now let's consider there is around two and a half to three days left and you are kind of okay with the 12th class syllabus but still uh, somewhere you know in that uh, middle situation in terms of your 11th class syllabus preparation if you are someone who is in this stage let me tell you that uh, you are not the only one there even i was in the same situation and even uh, most of the people who are studying currently also will be in the same uh, situation of yours yeah uh, talk thinking about how examiner expects from you there comes the uh, importance of formulas in terms of your physics examination yes guys uh, becoming thorough with the formulas of each and every chapter I have been stressing upon this point in all my videos which I have uploaded regarding your KCET preparation and uh, let me tell it again so if you are thorough with all the formulas you will not only be solving the questions which require the direct application of formulas but also those certain questions which come based on the relations so which is directly proportional to what and with this I am sure you will be uh, covering more than half of that physics paper if you are completely thorough with each and every formula of all the chapters and the question is how to do it okay formulas hard to be done and you should be thorough with each and every uh, formula which is there in the syllabus but how to do it now there is very less time left for this the solution is to go through the one shot videos or the uh, formula sheets which are there available online for free yes guys in this you will get all those formulas in one place if you just go on searching for those formulas in a textbook or in a reference book Again, that will take a lot of time and I don't want you to waste that time there because every minute is valuable now and now we are counting or the countdown is based on hours and it's not even about days. So during this time, just take that, uh, you know, pro take that as a pro tip from me to just go through the formula sheets which are available and make a note of all the formulas in a particular chapter make sure that you are thorough with them to excel in physics and the remaining which will be based on theory and there are certain chapters which are theory based or uh, more weightage is given to theory in certain chapters and questions from that come really easy and uh, to cover up those one thing i would suggest is to go through the one shot lectures which are uh, being uploaded in youtube these days these days very good content is being uploaded for free in youtube so make uh, maximum use of it so to with that you will be covering the uh, theory heavy chapters and in that um, important points will be covered through which the questions which come from it also will be covered now now talking about chemistry yes guys chemistry was a headache for me too and i'm sure most of you will be able to relate to this if you are able to relate then please express your pain in the comment section but uh, it's not about if we are comfortable with a subject or if we aren't during this time if we aren't comfortable with something, we should devise a way, as I told you earlier in my previous video too. If we aren't uh, finding some things comfortable, we should be finding a way or we should be devising a way through which we should be making us comfortable with it. Because in an examination like KCT, you can't just be uh, skipping topics or you can't just be skipping uh, chapters together or units together. In this, we should be devising a way to cover all the things so that no stone is left unturned. So in chemistry, talking about the strategy which you can or the important things which you can take a note of right now. So in talking about physical chemistry, you know it is similar to physics. So whatever I told for physics will be applicable for it. You can just uh, take a note of those and you can just include them as uh, pro tips for your physical chemistry part. And talking about organic chemistry, organic chemistry has always been a villain of all aspirants or most of the aspirants. And to tackle that again, I used to just go through the important reactions in the uh, 
textbook which have been given with their uh, structural formula so those things become really important it can be transformations or it can be their physical properties exp expressed in terms of the uh, reactions so those things are really important and preparations and especially name reactions you guys will be knowing this but still let me tell it out so name reactions are important in your kcet point of view and with that and certain conversions also will be required guys so make a note of it and especially conversions which are there in your ncrt book in the exercise or the in-text questions part the, those things are really important and with that i think organic chemistry will be sorted in a way and next comes your inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry is again uh, kind of third standard fourth standard stuff in which there is a certain syllabus cram up everything solve all the questions which come from it or uh, write answers for all the questions which come from it so that's how it works for inorganic and again inorganic also you should be devising certain things certain strategies such as take a chapter read everything what you feel important just write it in a card or in a page so that you will be able to see that and go before your chemistry examination guys so this is how we should be thinking right now because uh, whatever I tell you right now, may, you may seem those things uh, really tough or really, you know, strange to be inculcated or to be implemented. But this is how it goes in the la next three days. Next three days are really going to be tough. And uh, I want all of you to be uh, ready or your, I want all of you to develop that mindset to be ready for the tough things which you will be facing in these three days. Because after that, it's just chilling out and it's, it's just uh, enjoying your uh, days out there. So... I want all of you to maximize the time which is available right now and for that all you have to do is to just take my whatever I am telling in this video as suggestions and improvise on it to make that suit your routine or suit your uh, uh, mindset the best guys because everybody's approach will be different and I completely respect it so I'm just telling you that whatever I tell should be taken only as a suggestion and on that you should be improvising and inculcating them in your current routine so that nothing will be disturbed now uh, talking about your mathematics part mathematics i am sure many of you will be worried right now uh, many of you will be in a situation where in physics chemistry is okay but but in mathematics will i be able to do good or will that uh, mathematics portion take away the good thing which i do in physics or chemistry so that is a question which will certainly be there for a lot of students and i i am uh, you know i'll be the person whom you can take a good example of to take that fear out of your mind guys i scored 29 in my kcet mathematics paper yes this was my score and i still managed to get a rank around 2200 i am not telling you should be uh, you know neglecting or ignoring mathematics so that you can compensate them in physics and chemistry but i am telling this to just take that fear out of your mind now so that should tell you volumes about how important is studying all the three uh, subjects equivalently right now and you should be creating that equilibrium by balancing all those and for mathematics uh, you should be sticking on to the ncrt questions and exemplar questions exemplar questions they'll be directly picked and they'll be directly inserted into the question papers i've seen it by uh, my eyes in kcd 2022 and even in 2023 there were questions which were directly picked from exemplar so i don't want anybody to miss out on that so now with very less time left i telling you to solve each and every exercise question it's just bullshit and even i know it so uh, understanding that there is very less time left one thing which you can do is to solve around one to two questions of a similar profile and just move on so this is one thing which you can do you can you know you can easily do this so take that as a point take a chapter that particular profile one question two question done next chapter that's it that is how you should be approaching mathematics right now and uh, you can just skip some chapters in mathematics i have uploaded a video in which i have discussed about chapter wise weightage in terms of your mathematics so if you are really uncomfortable with math mathematics or if you feel that your preparation into mathematics now can impact your uh, uh, performance in physics and chemistry which you are already good in terms of your preparation then i would suggest you to go through that video and uh, know about what chapters you can afford to skip or what the chapters contain a very less weightage and with that mathematics should be sorted guys and for all these subjects the common thing everybody will be telling you this and even i will be 
uh, one of them who will be suggesting you to solve as many previous year questions as possible. Solving previous year questions will not only enhance your confidence but also will give that exam like experience. So those kind of questions have already appeared. So if you are able to solve those or if you are able to try those that will certainly push your confidence to higher levels in terms of approaching your KCET 2024 examination which is really really important guys. Guys I believe excuses are certainly for the weak people and responsibilities are for all the strong people who are working really hard out there and from my community I don't want anybody to be expressing themselves as weak not in front of me but even in uh, any walk of their life so I want all of you to be taking this responsibility of securing your career or securing where you'll be ending up in the next three to four years in which your life will be taking a big turn this is not, uh, you are not giving this examination for something else. It is only about you and your professional career. And I want all of you to understand this first, understand the purpose first and then go about your preparation. And once you understand this, I don't think uh, there will be anything which will be stopping you or I don't think you'll be needing any external motivation in terms of uh, uh, studying or any other thing for that reason. Before ending this exciting video, let me tell you that whatever I have uh, suggested you in this video comes with a lot of experience of myself involving in this process and helping out many students in the last year too. So make a note of taking all the points which I have told you and then select those points which you can inculcate in your current routine to maximize your score in KCET guys. Yeah, this was it for this video guys. I'll be there with you uh, even after your exams talking about different colleges and uh, different courses and many exciting videos are coming up. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and, uh, and if you found something informative in this video, so make sure that you hit the like button. And with that note, this is Darshan Gowda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. We'll meet in the next video. Until then, keep studying.